You know what's interesting is I was listening to this video the other day and I'm not going to play it because I don't want it to get copyrighted on the video but basically it was these two guys talking on a podcast and one of the guys was saying all right let's think of a hypothetical situation here think of the person that you love the most in this world and then he said oh that's easy that's my mom and he was like, all right, well, think of your mom being trapped in a tower that's a thousand meters in the air. <laughs> and the only way to get there and bring her back down and to see her again is to build a way up there. Now, let me ask you this. The interviewer said this. Let me ask you this. Would you complain about having to build or would you just get to work? And that just blew my fucking mind. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, damn. Because when you think about it in your own personal life, a lot of the times we like to make our issues bigger than what they actually are by reinforcing a terrible mindset over and over and over that mindset being oh man woe was me oh man this sucks oh man this is unfair this is not bro that's just life like fucked up shit happens to everybody everybody has a different square one right like everybody has their own version of the base level but your why has to be bigger than whatever you're going through in your life Otherwise, you're just not going to make it. It's literally that black and white. I know I talk in extremes a lot. I know I, I like to speak about, you know, huge ambitions and big things that I want to do in this world. But the reality of it is, is majority of you motherfuckers who are going to watch this shit, you're not going to fucking make it. <laughs> majority of the people who listen to messages that are similar to mine, it's just going to go straight in one ear and then right out the other. Because your why isn't big enough. The reason behind you wanting to be somebody greater than what you are right now is just not great enough for you in your head. And until you find that thing for you, you're not going to make it. And I'm not on here trying to shit on you. I'm actually trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to inspire people. That's the whole reason why I started this YouTube channel in the fucking first place. But the reality of it is, is there are some killers out here and you have to compete. And the only way to compete is to have a killer mindset yourself. <laughs> like I always say, bro, I can only speak for my fucking self. But the reality of it is, man, is like I embraced the villain. Like I embraced that I'm a flawed person. I embraced the fact that I'm actually a pretty evil individual. <laughs> As we all are. Nobody is fucking perfect. And when you think about it deeply, majority of people would actually show you a crazy version of themselves if there wasn't all these laws and all these other things set up in society in the threat of violence. Majority of this shit is fake anyway, but I'm, I'm okay with being real. I'm okay with showing that I'm not what it's all cracked up to be. Because that's how you move forward in life. If you don't accept where you're at, you're not gonna move anywhere. So I'm, I'm okay. I embrace the fact that I know that not everybody's going to fuck with me. Not everybody's going to be like, oh, man, hey, Jair, I think, I think you're doing great. Or, oh, man, I, I like that video or I like that message or I like how you carry yourself. I like how you're confident or I like that, you know what I'm saying, you do this, this, and that. Not everybody's going to be a fucking cheerleader clapping you on. I get that. No matter how hard I fucking try, no matter how good I try to present myself, people are still going to be like, fuck you. So I embrace the villain. I embrace the fact that I am going to be hated. And I also embrace the fact that I'm walking my own fucking path. That's what drives me. Because I know when that hate comes or when that shitty thing comes in my life, that random death in the family or that stupid fucking boss or something like that or whatever the case may be, I embrace the fact that this is my own path. And I don't have to explain myself to anybody. I don't have to explain why I do the things I do. I don't have to explain why I fucking move the way I move. This is my fucking life. 
that's what drives me. That's what fuels me. So you got to find that within yourself. I'm okay with knowing the fact that a lot of people want to see me fail. And that's just how it is. Most people don't want to see you succeed more than where they are. And it's a lot of people in my family. <laughs> a lot. And I had to realize that over the years that, okay, he he's actually not trying to help me here. He's actually trying to hold me down. Or he actually views this way about me and not this way. You got to learn how to analyze the pieces on the chessboard. You got to learn how to understand that your life is determined by you and nobody else, unless you allow other people that access. One of the greatest lessons I've ever learned in my life actually came from somebody that I don't even really fuck with, but this dude told me, you gotta learn how to put people in boxes. And I'm like, what do you mean by that? And he's like, you gotta learn how to put people in their place for the place that they deserve. So I'm like, okay, well, can you explain that? And he's like, yeah. So if you know that this person is not good for you, but they're on your football team or they're in your class or whatever the case may be, like you gotta understand that you're gonna still have to interact with this individual, but you just have to limit the amount of interactions that you have with them because you know that they're not good for you. So you're putting them in a low interactive box, right? Vice versa, this guy over here, he is good for you. So then you have more interactions with him. So he's in a different box. You know what I'm saying? But all of that being said, <laughs> you got to figure that out for yourself. And unfortunately, majority of us are not going to learn until we hit our fucking head a bunch of times over and over and over and over and over again. That's just how the game goes. But don't be afraid to fail because at the end of the day, you're not going to learn without failing. You're going to mess up. You're going to you know what I'm saying? Throw the wrong punch. You're going to fucking get choked out. You're going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm just speaking from my own experience. Like you're going to get your ass kicked by life. But it's the ones that keep on moving forward that are going to get their licks in too. And that's just how the game goes. So let me ask you this. Is you going to build the tower or are you going to sit around and be a bitch? Because last time I checked, bitches don't get anything in life. If you're a bitch as a man, you're not going to get anything. You're not going to get a woman. You're not going to get a career. You're not going to get a family. You're not even going to have a life that's worth living. Once I realized all this shit, that was my fuel. I started feeling the burden of performance to be somebody, honestly, when I turned 18. As soon as I fucking graduated high school, and that summer I turned 18, I was like, holy shit, like, damn, bro. Like, this is reality. <laughs> like, I'm going up against... 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, you know what I'm saying? Like in the real world, like competing for careers, competing for status, whatever the case may be, bro. Like everything is competition. Don't listen to these fuckers out here. Be like, oh man, uh, you, you, you're you not competing with anyone. Nah, bro, you're competing with fucking everybody. How the fuck do you think you have that job? How the fuck do you think you got into that school you got into? How the fuck do you think you, you know what I'm saying? Everything is fucking competition. Fuck that shit. But like I said, man, it's up to you. Are you going to build that tower? Or are you going to stay a bitch? <laughs>